Hello guys, what's up? My name is 100 Blacky White, and I'm bringing to you guys a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle against my friend Toxic Creeper or Rishi. Um, if you like this, please show your support by leaving a comment down in the comment section below. And also, if you would like to battle me yourself in a specific tier or with a specific team or theme or anything. Go um, leave it down in the comments below your in-game name, your real name, and your friend code. Also, you could put it on my Twitter at 100BANDW, which will always be in the description below if you forget. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit rusty. It has been a long time since I uploaded or recorded a video just because the school is back and school is always priority. Always, um... Put school as priority first if you do but anyway enough of me talking um me and rishi um we didn't have like specific um like battling teams or anything like we're not in a specific tier or anything so yeah Okay, so Rishi has brought in Alakazam, a Mew, a Darmanitan, a Titar, a Bufalon, and a Luxray. I have an Ampharos, a Staraptor, a Slacking, a Hitmonlee, a Gardevoir, and a Caracosta. Um, I want to try out a new team than the last time you saw me battle. Just try to think of new teams. Um, predicting the Darmanitan to go out first. I'm gonna go out into my Hitmonlee. Also, um, I realized that for all of my recordings, the in-game music was not on, so I'm sorry about that. And I'm also sorry when if the graphics are bad or anything, but hopefully it's um, like doable to see. Also, when it like blurs out and like there's a black screen on and you can only see like the background of where I'm filming, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, um, here's the battle. Enough of my boring talking. She actually starts with a T tar first. I'm sorry, Rishi, if you're. I don't know. I'm so bad with recognizing um, voice genders. So I'm sorry. If you're a guy and you're ah, uh, you know, ah, uh, just enough of that. Uh, enough of that already. Ah, uh, so um, she did start uh, with the T tar. I, I'm just gonna, yeah. So Rishi, start, I'm just gonna say Rishi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rishi. If I got itch and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But anyway, Rishi started out with the T tar. I started out with the Hitmonlee. I'm just gonna go for a close combat. Hopefully, this will kill. Um, it does manages to faint. Not kill, sorry. I don't believe that Pokemon kill, sorry. So the T Tar faints. So that's um a giant walling um Pokemon out of the way because um a T Tar can be both a really good wall and an offensive Pokemon at the same time. So I'm glad that that's out of the way. Um Rishi does bring in the Darmanitan now. Um predicting the flare blitz. I'm gonna switch in I'm going to switch in to my slacking predicting the flare blitz because slacking has a lot of health and I think even if this is a choice band flare blitz I will barely live because I have um oh it's a fire punch ooh I love when people use Fire Punch Darmanitan instead of Flare Blitz because I don't like recoil damage on me. I honestly don't like recoil damage on me. Um, predicting that um, Rishi will switch out. Oh no, Rishi doesn't switch out. Rishi goes. Oh my gosh, goes for another Fire Punch and takes down my Slacking. So now that I I know that Darmanitan is Choice Scarf because I do run a Jolly Slacking. So now that I know that um. Rishi, ah, I'm, I'm just gonna stop saying Rishi. Now that I know that Darmanitan is scarfed, um, I'm gonna go out into my Ampharos. 
I'm going to go with the Taylor the Ampharos because Ampharos is my favorite Pokemon of all time. First of all, it's an electric type. Second of all, the design, it's a, it's a sheep. And whenever I see Ampharos, Mareep, or Flappy, like you see its ears, like it just reminds me of like it wearing headphones for some reason. And I like totally love that because I just like I'm constantly on my headphones if you didn't know. And also it's so bulky and yet so powerful even though it's so slow. And it got a Mega Evolution which turns it into Par Dragon type with Mold Breaker. You know what that thing does? It destroys Dragonites. It destroys um... Anything else with sturdy? It, it is so powerful, honestly. Mega Ampharos or even regular Ampharos, it's so powerful. So anyway, um, Rishi switches out into the Mew. Um, I'm gonna go for the Power Gem, hoping that um, the Darmanity is did in. We're both gonna get buffeted by the Sandstorm. Um, I honestly don't know what this Mew is gonna do because Mews can literally run whatever the heck you want to put on it. So I'm just gonna go for um, a T-Wave. Mew goes for the Psy Shock. I am um, max health so I shouldn't be yeah taking that much damage. And also, um, Ampharos is slightly bulky. So now Mew's paralyzed to synchronize will not go off. But just for those who don't know, electric types cannot be paralyzed. Either by Stun Spore or um, Electric Type Paralysis moves. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt right here because Stab and um, to possibly um, destroy this Mew. Um, it brings it down to the red. Um, Mew breaks Paralysis and goes for the Roost. That's unfortunate because I really hate Roost so much. I hate it with all my life. I hate any recovery move. Um, on my opponent's side because it makes the battle go on forever. Hopefully not. Um, I go for another Thunderbolt. Um, I avoid the will o -Wisp, Which is um, pretty amazing because... That, that is amazing because usually I get all the hacks. But anyway, this Mew is going to go down. Uh, Rishi decided to um, let it faint. And also just look at Mega Ampharos. Like, I wish I had hair as beautiful as that. Um, here wait, let me try, just, is it, oh no, no, I, let me try and move back, sorry about this, I'm, yeah, sorry, I didn't notice that you couldn't see, um, Rishi's Pokemon's HP and name, I'm so sorry for that, I'm sorry for the in-game adjustment, so anyway, um, the Alakazam comes in, um, predicting a Dazzling Gleam from it, I'm gonna switch out and go into my Gardevoir, because, um, I love, um, Gardevoir, especially this set. This is, um, a max special defense, max HP assault vest Gardevoir. So, yeah, it's gonna eat this up. It's gonna eat the Dazzling Gleam up. Oh my gosh. Eating it up, eating it up, eating up, eating it up. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball right here. If Rishi decides to switch out, that's okay. Um... Rishi decides to Mega Evolve the Alexam, which is nice. Um, it will trace my Synchronize right now. Fun fact, we actually had a battle before this, and um, the Alexam Mega Evolved, and it copied my Slacking's Chew on, and um, it was actually loafing around on the first turn. So that was really interesting to know. Um, I predict another Shadow Ball from this Alexam. So I'm gonna switch into my um, Star Raptor because it does have quick attack and not U-turn because I like priority on everything. So here goes Mohawk the Star Raptor. Oh my gosh! There's the Shadow Ball. I'm not affected by it because I'm part normal type. I'm gonna go for the quick attack to finish out this Mega Alakazam. Yep, bop, bop. There goes down Quick Scar. Not Quick Scar. La. Silk Scar Quick Attack. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was amazing. Um, so, yeah, this Bufalon's left, the Luxray's left, and the, I can't remember what the last Pokemon was. Huh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm gonna go for close combat because I outspeed Bufalon. Um, this should do a hefty amount of damage if it doesn't, um, KO. Yep, there it is. 
Um, I'm okay with sacking up my Staraptor because I do have my Hitmonlee still. Um, goes for the Wild Charge that will take me out because Staraptor, for Pokemon in general, are frail from physical attacks and special attacks. The recoil damage will almost take it out, but I'm okay because I can go out into my Caracosta right now and just Aqua Jet and take this Bufalon down. Look at Caracosta. Caracosta is my favorite fossil type Pokemon. Like, it's just a giant, massive, turtle warrior looking thing. It's it, it's so amazing. And it gets um Aqua Jet. It it's just I think Caracosta is the only fossil Pokemon with priority. I think it is. No, Kabutops get Aqua Jet, yeah. Uh it's just a turtle. It's just a giant bulky turtle with Aqua Jet. Like, what more could you not want of it? Like, horseshoe crab? No, no, it's all about turtles. Turtles is where that. I'm just gonna go Aqua Jet this um, Darmanitan. Hopefully, do um, a nice amount of damage on it. It does bring it below half, so that's nice. Goes for the EQ, but I do have Sturdy on this Caracosta. And also, I'm max HP, so it brings me down below half. My weakness policy will go off right now. Bringing me to plus two attack and special attack, and I'm just gonna go for another Aqua Jet. There we go, Aqua Jet right to the face. There goes down Darmanitan. Also, for those of you um, who are wondering, um, me and Rishi actually had a battle before this. Oh, this Luxury has Intimidate instead of Guts. That's interesting. But anyway, um. Me and Rishi had a battle before this, um, Rishi won, and I was surprised, fun fact again, a max attack adamant Caracasa plus 2 Aqua Jet does not take down a Terrakion, which is very interesting, I don't know whether I got min damage or not, but either way it survived with like the smallest of slivers of health. That was interesting. That Aqua Jet did nothing. Oh my gosh, the Luxray is gonna go for a wild charge. Oh my god. Okay, so now the Luxray. The Luxray is poison, but it has intimidate. Okay. 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 I like weird sets, so I'm wondering how this will go out. Um, I'm gonna go to pick up the Hitmonlee because Hitmonlee just picks up the kills. He he just picks up the kills. Going for the fake out right now to get more damage off on this thing. And so the Toxic does more damage. Um like always, sorry for all of the visual problems or if my voice is really boring and and this commentary is not the greatest and it's not the smoothest of commentaries. Or if um, I am wrong on some Pokemon knowledge. But anyway, I'm going to go for the Blaze King. That will take out the Luxury with a crit. With a crit. And that will be um, GG Rishi. Rishi. Um, that was a great battle. Um, if you guys would like me to battle. Um, not like me to battle. But if you guys like this commentary. And um, like the video. Please leave it. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below also if you um have any advice for me i really appreciate it and also if you want me to do something else other than just wi-fi that's okay just leave it down in the comments and also because i like using the word also check out all of my other videos on the channel i would greatly appreciate that um i was thinking of doing a game chat battle but um i wanted um to ask you guys first if you guys would like me to have a battle with game chat with my opponent because i was thinking of doing that because i think that with dual commentary um in a battle that's actually more interesting than just like th me talking to you guys and finally if you guys would like to battle me please leave your f friend code your in-game name and your real name down in the comments below or um on my twitter at 100 bandw like always it will be in the description and thank you all for watching sorry that this video is so long because of my rambling and i'll see you guys next time goodbye